Dora is here. Welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Point. I am your host, Tora of Torachi Gaming. In the previous episode, we started from the midpoint of the tutorial. I completed the first tutorial missions off the camera to get us to the sort of starting point after the prologue, if you will. We have our first base. I call it Phoenix Alpha Argentina. So we did a scavenging site mission. We got some crates for tech and materials and a lot of uh, handgun magazines. Now I've got a lot going on that I started off camera, so I'll go through everything very quickly and we'll get on our way with missions. So we're at the base. I have started constructing a plus one research lab and plus two training facilities. So this research lab will double our speed of research, which I'll show you momentarily. And the training facilities Soldiers at the base will gain two experience points per hour for each facility. So that's four per hour while we're sitting here healing or if we get additional recruits to just sit here, they will be getting that experience just hanging around, waiting to be called up. As far as personnel, everyone's more or less okay. We dealt with some promotions in the last episode. Takeshi and Irina need to relax for a few minutes, so that's fine. Research, I started Haven Recruitment Protocols, so we can recruit soldiers at Havens that we discovered. That would be great. Now, important thing I'm going to note here is Pandoran Evolution, right? It's currently going to take six days, six hours to complete. Once we get that other research lab built, that should cut down to three hours, three days. So everything here should take less time to do once we get that second research lab up. That seems like a good investment for me to start because you're always going to have research to do as you're getting additional things. Um, you can queue up research. It's whatever you click. It's sort of first in, first out. Uh, I'm not going to queue anything up right away because I want to see what pops up. I know Haven Recruitment Protocol unlocks the trade protocol. Archives will deal with just the amount of time it goes down. That'll be great. I'm also manufacturing right now. I'm going to clear all these filters for a second. A whole bunch of Odin grenades because they take four hours each, four, eight, 12, 16 hours to do. I love having everybody that I can get with at least one grenade ready. So I don't want to ever run out of grenades. Uh, diplomacy, we have nothing right now. Establish contact with another faction. And then I went into Phoenixpedia and I just uh, wiped through all of the things. So it's not constantly like, hey, there's new stuff here because that just gets me. So going to wait until Takeshi and Irina are healed up. That'll just take a moment. Give things time quickly. Okay, now it does pop up. Crew of whatever are fully rested, healed and rested. I wish it would stop on that because it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to fly off right now and do stuff. So that being said, I'm going to go here, here, here. Go south. If I get beat up, I'll come back. This will keep scanning as I go. 64%, that's what the number here is. Everyone's on the Manticore. Everyone had better be equipped the way I want them. They are not. Yeah, and this is why you always check, so. Grenades, magazines, grenades, magazines, grenades, grenade. Got that the other way around, because I had a bunch. Okay. Now we're set. So. Up we go. There, see it's popping up more things over there. Aha, there we go. Poison within, Akshak. At the Disciples of Anu Haven of Akshak, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiarch Nurgal, the Disciples' greatest military hero. But Nurgal is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with the faction. By golly, let's do it. And so we'll get anything right after the battle as we see the green. Jet, 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 jet. Speaking of grenades, universal thrown weapons dealing damage to all targets of administrative effect. 
resistance to strength. Yep. So it's just gonna be that. So there's a whole bunch of worms. So I'm going to do something really silly that I tried one time before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those guys can climb on the roofs. Okay, that's, I didn't realize they could do that. I never saw them. Huh. Okay. Okay, well, that's new. You learn something new every time. Pretty much just gonna come and get shot, so I'm not overly concerned. But that said, I think I'm gonna be a little bit cautious, just because it's like, oh, it's the first mission. Uh huh. Okay. That's a little. Tell her what to do. Thank you. Wish you could see your guys' Overwatch cones. Other than when you're setting Overwatch, so that you're not just sitting in someone's Overwatch zone. It's like, hey, would you mind getting out of the way? No. <laughs> Narrow it, so let's just see what these silly worms do. Around and they're like, oh, we have enemies. Oh my goodness. Status alerted. Enemies will become aware of your presence when they are alerted and will attempt to track down and attack your squad. Good for you. Huh. I did starting on the roofs. I've never, I've not seen them do that as such yet. I have a little fun with these, with these suckers. Screw around with them. Omar can take it. If not, the evac is right there. So, hi guys, how are you doing today? You see me? <laughs> come, come get me. I'm open. Everybody's Overwatches, because I'm not so reckless that I think it's a really good idea not to set Overwatches right now. Not that they can shoot at me, but that's beside the point. It's I want to see if they'll do what I think they're going to do, and uh, chase after Omar. I'm doing a little test here. I, I I accidentally discovered something when I played this mission before, so I want to see if they'll behave a certain way with him just sitting there. Okay, so this one's gonna come in. Let's just. Okay, they're going for Omar. He's only legal so fast, I guess. Okay, so some of them are going to go in this way. All right, that's fine. Some of them are... Okay, so most of them are, are coming into the squad. That is fine. Movement. Move Omar over here. Whoops. Do I see another one or do I see another one? Look. Okay, Overwatch here. Can't tell. I'm just trying to bait these guys because this is really cool. Throw a grenade. Uh, get most of them. Okay, I'm just going to kill these three with this grenade. Just forget about it. Blast damage. It applies to every body part of all targets in the blast. It's good at shredding armor with multiple body parts. And shred damage reduces armor value of the body part affected by the shred value. Nice. So explosive shred damage is amazing. Whoopsie. I need the grenade first. Thank you. And off go three of them, because I don't want to deal with their crap. Fine, 
dandy. There's a lot of worms on here. I never had to deal with all of them at once, so. Looks like the overwatch here. Still Overwatch. Yes, I can. Okay. So Overwatch is still in here. Okay, this is um, still still in here. Nothing can happen to me. Big Overwatch zone like this, I guess, is fine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna chase him. Whoop. <laughs> and there we go. So it got halfway to Omar and then blew up and then blew up his friend. <laughs> yeah, these guys are silly. And he didn't hurt Omar because he wasn't within the blast radius. <laughs> anyway, poison damage reduces the target's hit points by the poison value each turn. It drops by 10. You'll also accumulate it more poison. So the more poison coursing through you, the more damage it causes. That's like worse than bleeding. Oh, come on. Die. All right, there we go. <laughs> so you can get these guys to blow each other up. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna just run over here. They'll keep chasing me. I think one of them will blow up. <laughs> uh, I think that's the last two. I'm just gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're not smart enough. They're like, I'm within one point for the hive. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's that. <laughs> so, if you're willing to, uh, if you're willing to play the dangle game with the with the exploding worms, <laughs> you can do that. So, general experience: hundred kill all enemies. 300 so not bad couple uh, level ups that was cool to see now you notice how the experience we had a total of 400 but some people got way more experience than others um, I believe it's a matter of who does the most actions something of that nature so I'm assuming you know killing enemies and grabbing resort packs Taking other actions gives more end melee. If you want me, you need to contact the Temple Allies and first send me a parcel to the One Star to check them out. But I'm going to break protocol and send food. Now listen, and I'll be honest with you, the Exalted is the only one who has any real answer. Tobias West may be clever and Sinidre may sound good, but only the Exalted is in with the world as it actually is. You can leave us out of this mess. Leave us alive is your choice. Now, I'll admit, out of all three factions, main factions other than the Phoenix Project, I identify most with New Jericho and Tobias West because they're just straightforward military, you know, let's, we are human and our humanity will lead us in, to our, to greatness. Okay, so Nidrian is all like, oh, it's democracy, and you got the sleep tech, and it's like, okay, that's cool. And then the Disciples of Anu, it's it's like, mutation, and we're going to, you know, accept the alien power and, and use it, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you creep me the hell out. That being said, Taxiarch, Nergal, I like him. He is clear-headed. He's picked his side. He believes in it. He's a nice guy. He's a calm guy. I like him. So, for this run and for some of my early runs, I'm going to play kind of nice guy. I'm going to be nice to all the factions. I'm not going to try to annoy them unnecessarily. Obviously, certain things I do are going to piss off. Disciples of Anu and say make New Jericho happy or vice versa, but 
I'm going to play nice and be diplomatic with everyone to the extent that I can. And later on, uh, I'll pick a side and, and kind of go in heavily with their faction dogma doctrine and explore what can happen with that. But for now, we would like to know more about the Disciples of Amos. threshold all the way up to the summit of Gini and the exalted itself. That's hard work. You have to earn your way up there. I've cooked it. I get it. And if a synod gives you trouble, let me know. And that's why I like him too, because he is a military man. He understands military forces necessary to deal with the Pandora virus. It's not as though the disciples of Anu necessarily want the Pandora virus to take over the earth and wipe everything out, because of course that to enjoy being the winners as it were so it's like let's take it and fight fire with fire and because he's like you guys didn't have to do that necessarily for us but I'm going to appreciate what you did and I'm going to return the favor by using what influence I have uh, if you get to the point where you should be accepted by the synod of yearning his voice may be the tipping point because if they're going to casually ignore taxiarch mirgal well they have a problem internally and we need to be aware of that fact too so disciples of anu like us a little bit more and they gave us some food which is nice but the problem here is i have yet to figure out how to get more food other than just grabbing it um so, as long as we keep getting food and don't have too many soldiers, they won't be just eating up food. We can trade for it, but I wish there was a more, honestly, sustainable, uh, reliable way of doing that. So, at any rate, go to the next site. We're fine. Our stamina is just a little bit low. Okay, Haven recruitment protocols. We can now recruit soldiers from Havens. I'm going to take a minute to look at this. Uh, it's just how are we going to recruit? So new research. Okay, so before that, recruiting soldiers. Recruiting is vital to achieve victory. Send your aircraft to a Haven with a recruit soldier icon. Select a Haven and follow. Recruit them. You can only recruit if they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of little things you have to do to make sure the conditions are correct for recruiting soldiers. But anyway, we can do that now. So much stuff to do here. We're going to do Haven Trade Protocols and then Disciples of Anu. We can trade with the Havens, which is vital as well. And then we'll learn about the Disciples of Anu. That'll get us some more food. We can do a new belief in Phoenix Archives. We're not going to rush too much into that, but uh, at the same time, it's not going to leave us be. So <laughs> you are the Phoenix Project, eh? I've heard a lot about you. Who am I? Well, the maker, of course. I run things around here. Welcome to the marketplace. Here and only here, you'll find some very special hardware. I design, build, and test every piece of equipment here with my own two hands, you see. <laughs> I will be honest, silly things will explode every now and again, these uh, toys of mine. They do make some pretty fireballs, though. <laughs> Both when they work and uh, when they suddenly stop working. <laughs> oh, boy. That was lucky to start off with. So this is the marketplace. This is the Chaos Haven. They're in sort of an independent faction. I don't think they do anything necessarily, but we've got the Maker. He's got to be my favorite character so far just because he's this mad, mad tinkering guy. Uh, yeah, offers change every day, so he's got these different... <laughs> I guess it was sound effect. That was funny. So you can buy these different things from him. Uh... No idea what they do. Some of them, as they say, they 
explode in your hands. Um, I've, I've gone through one or two missions with him. It's usually, hey, there's a vehicle out there. And we're like, do you want it? And he's like, yeah, do you? And it's like, not really, but we'll get it for you. So like you say, new mission available. The maker mentioned there is an abandoned scarab that he wants to get his hands on. It is an old model that we have no use for, but obtaining it for him might put us on the safe side. New offers, lower prices. So we'll take the mission. So this is from the Chaos Engines DLC. I enable it because I just, honestly, I just want to watch that introductory scene. Who am I? Well, the maker, of course. Uh, I might buy some of his stuff eventually. Because uh, you can see it costs a lot of materials. I've got this auto cannon burst two effective range defense whatever assault rifle burst of eight yeah that's not terrible poison damage that could be fun uh, chaos buggy <laughs> uh, that. vishnu gun turret burst eight shred damage effective range Capacity. And the Vishnu the Vishnu minigun and the Vishnu gun gun blast. Blast radius. That could be fun. I mean that costs more than like three aircraft, but hey, what the heck? So we found the marketplace, that's great. Explore some more of this out here while we just got okay. Making stuff, researching stuff. Oh, hello. The Dreamers Awaken, Fort Liberté. Fort Liberté is a haven run by New Jericho, which means that normally things are quiet and under control. But right now there is an emergency. A group of soldiers is on a killing spree. Uh, it began with strange dreams. Voices heard in the night, a local doctor tells the operatives. I could not detect any physiological changes, and there were certainly no signs of infection, but their behavior simply cannot be explained by PTSD or similar conditions, which we at New Jericho are sadly quite familiar with. It's like something has driven them mad. If we stop these soldiers, New Jericho will undoubtedly be grateful to us. Sure. Okay. So our stamina is low. That's not going to hurt us massively, although we will have to I am going to very quickly see what's going on with these guys. Omar, don't want Brawlo, thank you. Takeshi, come here, don't need that. Dash, yes. Lily, okay, so we've got 44 there. Shotguns, melee proficiency, I would love to take that. That's not going to be that helpful. Dash, I will take. Uh, be worthful, I will take that because it's there. Those quarters, I will get that once we get shotguns or melee weapons. All items will be recovered after the mission. So, let's do it. Okay. So, done this a few times i know there's soldiers up here they're just gonna pop out and do all kinds of mean nasty things to us so what we're gonna do is mean nasty things to them i know totally not fair Omar over here. Let's see if we can get a flank on these guys somehow or another. Kind of know how this is going to go down, but uh, I don't feel like being fair. So, let's not worry about this turn. End it. Let them come to me. Yep. Through. My turn. Okay. Hey, buddy. Eat this. Wee. <laughs> I need to get to that. 
that guy's in big trouble. Because I'm gonna pop out. That's one action. Shoot. Oh yeah, he's got shoot back. Tag me. Damage. Yes. Standard damage reduced and hit points, max damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. All right. So it took a little boop. Yeah. So see what I was saying about they can shoot back. You don't screw with these guys. I'm not going to sit out here and necessarily take... Actually, right scratch that. I think I will. Uh, nah, I'm not going to worry about that right this second. So, uh, I am, however, going to do a little overwatch over here, just in case they decide to pop up. There's only one more guy, as far as I remember. Come on, guy. There we go. He's running around. There, somewhere, whatever. Uh, I'll pop Amy over here. We'll see if she can do anything. Overwatch again. Got him. Oh, he's going that way. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they won't scare me. I don't have a medic as such yet. Usually I get lucky and one trooper will get uh, the special skill medic, which is good because they heal more. Especially great when they can get that extra carry away if you just load them up with med kits. But that's okay. Here we are. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, if I feel like uh, being Aggressive, which I do. Hey, buddy. Now, if he grenades Omar, I'm going to be mad, but I'm going to give him. So. What are you doing? Oh, why are you overwatching? Oh, that's a terrible... Yeah, I've done that before. I've uh, jumped through an Overwatch. It's uh, unpleasant. Watch this. Watch this, right. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting to check this out. Come on. Okay, as long as I don't move her too far... Can you not clear the wall? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yes, you can. Let's throw a grenade. Now, important thing. These guys will run away if they have no weapons and they're near enough to the edge of the map or their reinforcement zone, whatever it is. Bear that in mind. And that can be a way of getting rid of these guys. Yeah, if he's bleeding, then we can just gun. Standing by. I'm gonna put Omar in Overwatch just something about this guy. Call by ring. Call by ring. Put Overwatch over here, just again in case he comes out, decides they want to try to be cute. Alrighty, so, if he shoots at Omar, that's fine. He's bleeding a bit. Haha! -ha! Oh, it got him! I did not think that would work! Wow! Whew. Okay. My very, very, very first tutorial mission when I was reclaiming the base, I had Omar was shooting at a, at a Pandoran. The Pandoran was on the hangar bay floor, and I was up on the, the catwalk. And the railing around it 
deflected all of my shots because Omar cannot depress his barrel low enough. He can't, like, get it over the railing and go down. It's very awkward. And similarly, I had a Triton, I think, was running. Uh, they run on all, all, all fours. And he was shooting over a little, you know, waist-high fence. And the shots are flying over this thing's head because, again, he cannot depress his barrel low enough. So that, he just, like, poked that in a little spot and blasted that guy. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. We, we won. Um, no injuries. So we'll go back to base and get the stamina back. Hopefully we haven't lost too much. That would have been a right uh, double turn. Oh, well. Either way. I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day even after signs disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices we make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. Well, thank you, Tobias. What happened to those soldiers was disturbing. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easily enough. But I needed you to see them, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic code. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the utopians of Canudrium nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together on stopping it. All right, so Nujerko's a little bit happier. He's got some materials, which is nice. This is the earliest I've ever met New Jericho. I usually meet a whole bunch of Anus, then some Sneedrins, then New Jericho last. And by that time, they kind of dislike me because I don't know about the other factions. Maybe they feel left out. Either way. All right. Oh, well. So i uh, going to look at some of the Havens real quick. We've got the Haven Akshak. And their motto, Hope Requires Change. Okay. It's a marketplace, cast syndicate, and then Haven Fort Liberté. Words become actions, character becomes destiny. Okay. Got the materials available. Let's just find out. Uh, sniper Michel Maharaj. Uh, interesting research. New Jericho Combat Armor Research. Combat Armor was eventually released. Residences. Right. Yeah. Go. Okay, so we're, there's a scarab mission for that. I'm not going to go that right this second. Or just a little bit more. Oh, that's fine. That's good. Mushrooming. Okay. The Manticore has encountered a Sinedrian scientific expedition led by Dr. Robert Laudan. Its purpose is to investigate a large field of mushroom-like growths that release a cloud of spores upon contact. It's unclear whether this represents a new vector for infection or something harmless that Sinedrian would like to know. Assist, tech minus 50, or do not get involved. Well... Geez, if I was overflowing with tech, I might think about it, but I'm going to say no. Okay, going back to base. All right, Haven trade protocols. We can trade resources with Havens. Great. So that's what's going on there. Heal up. Still getting little pings for... Yep, yep. Stuff is appearing here down there at the top, so going south is, I think, the right decision. Okay, we were fully healed and rested. Oh, well, I never know about the mushrooms. I don't know. 
Takeshi. Assault rifle proficiency. Damage and accuracy. Yes. Trooper. Return fire. Yes. So, 17 tile. So, I can dangle Takeshi out there a little bit and he can shoot back. And he's going to do some good damage. I'll get that later because I don't have any mount mounted weapons right now. And actually, Takeshi, because you are... Actually, I think because you are going to be particularly special, I am going to swap your armor with Sophia. Okay, so Sophia, yes. And give her the nifty... Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, so that's the rifle that goes with that armor. That's great. And Takeshi, I am going to give you the Sinedrian Laser Assault Rifle. Sophia's the biochemist. Okay, I know, so. Okay, Sophia's gonna get all the green stuff. Okay. Fine, I'm gonna give you a plain assault rifle. No, not so plain, that's a nice one. Jacob, I am going to give you this stuff. Oh, it's Kishi's Bombardier 2. But because Takeshi is going to be the trooper. Okay, so Takeshi's the trooper. Okay, okay, okay. So. Probably had that set up the way I wanted it anyway. So. There we go. All right, yeah, I like the initial look there. Um, but, you know, there's that. I am going to give you a Sinedrian laser rifle. Got a lot of ammo capacity, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage with this and. It's pretty simple armor color, but that's okay. All right, so he's got a little bit of blue on there. He's got the big blue rifle. That's fine. This thing's got a lot of shots, so I'll bring him up anyway. He could be doing a lot of shots. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Okay, let's go. Are we healed up? We are healed up. All right, let's run south again. Really, really slow. I don't want to have any missiles. This is the edge of our exploration zone. Disciples of Anu. Okay. Had a blah, had a blah, 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 blah. Send credit for religion. Blah, 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 blah. Food. We'll leave that for later, but let's watch the cutscene here. The disciples of Anu were a mystery. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. Disciples offered a solution, but what they told me was there was something beyond their unhealthy rituals. We could help them by seeking. Oh my. <laughs> okay, uh, research. Oh, I'm not doing any research. I couldn't have mentioned that game. Jeez. Okay, Phoenix Archives will fire that off between Jericho Road first. Okay. Could have mentioned I had no research. Jeez. Okay. Explore here. 
mines. Okay. Our operatives have set down near an abandoned mining complex. The machinery has been left to rust and no sign of anyone alive or dead. The place has been picked clean. Searching the mine might yield better results, but after years of abandonment, it may no longer be stable. Search the complex, search the mine shaft, search both, or leave it alone. Well, we're going to do... Hopefully no one dies here. Ouch. The search was exhausting. There was a small accident, but we've recovered several caches of useful resources. Okay. Tech and materials. Okay. Damage and stamina. That's fine. We're going back to base and we'll heal up. Not too bad. Okay. We're getting our the limit of our scans, which is great. Uh, mist is down here. So if we find any havens, we should be fine with mist. So let's do 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 do. There we go. That was easy. Okay. So we're going to go save here. I'm going to go to the last one down here. Get farther and farther from the base, but that's okay. Explore New Jericho Tech's going to pop in a second. So New Jericho, got some materials. Militaristic billionaire, yep. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive controversial businessman who denounced war even as he crossed the Atlantic. When the war fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting versus the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful obsessed with tyranny. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. He could be a megalomaniac, and he could also be a man with a plan and a huge military arsenal. So we'll see how Tobias West plays out. Right, another Anu Haven. Kurda. Our prayers are answered. Well, that's good. All right. There's another site down here. That. Just get this picture changed up. I have it in the background. Nothing found. Okay, so. Nothing else down here. Uh, what the heck? I'm assuming that's supposed to be Antarctica. Or is it down here? Assuming that's supposed to be Antarctica. Yeah, so we can't turn all the way around the globe, I guess. Okay. So, our scan is at 100%. Okay, so I have a feeling we're going to go east first and kind of loop back around and then get up through northern South America and then start making our way up to North America, especially because of this missed outbreak here in what used to be Florida. I'm calling it Florida just because that's we don't have to go to the base for anything right now. I don't do that scarab mission, but I'm going to explore a little bit more the wider up options. If we're still exploring Antarctica, so over here, that's great. If we get into a battle, we can go ahead and face. Ah, scavenging site. As I say that, okay. Probably be the last thing I do today if I can get through it. So, give me just one second. Check all my personnel. Make sure they're all loaded out. Customization, yes. Okay, you're loaded up. Sophia, you're loaded up. Omar, you got the hell can. Okay. I am not going to bring a magazine. It'll give me a little more room in this inventory. Takeshi, you've got the rifle you can shoot back. And fuck you, I want to take it, but you know, cross training him probably is a heavy. Possibly. Or I might not cross train him. I might just keep him as is. Get the ammo to do all this stuff from his strength. Hit points, weight, and throwing, and your power, maximum bullet points, and speed. Tile's character can move. And then you've got perception, accuracy, and stealth. 
I'm going to put a couple of points into Mickey's willpower so we can get him up to speed. As a group, we can get him some things. Throw a little bit of willpower. Get him a little bit of more uh, Athena. Get him not leveled up. I am disappointed. Trooper. Sniper, sniper and trooper is going to be an excellent sniper. Okay. Just do that to get that quest done. Really. His early shotgun. No, I'm not going to do that with this. I think it's just going to be skill points. Jacob weapons. Let's take a turn fire on him like so. Let's do uh let's take a take a turn fire on her. I think I will do that. Actually Jacob's got a lot of points. I'll take a turn fire on him here pretty quickly. Oh my. Alright you've come round. We're good. Alright. Let's yeah I'm just gonna carry stuff on. Let's go. Scavenging mission. Uh, each crate gives you a hundred. Okay. That is good to know. Save game. Okay. So we got one right near an evac zone. That's nice. We don't have to run here. We'll have a run one over there. Get him over there and there. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess we're going to want to advance up the left, right, and come back down. On this way, to my sons. Oh, 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 hello. There's one in here as well. <laughs> uh, let's go in there. Whoa. Okay. Find out what's going on. Uh, resources, handling and things, that's good. More rest for the wicked. So we're gonna rest for the weary. Heading out. No time Just kinda to run everybody up here. Move them into cover. Still try to get everybody up. everyone up here because then we'll have the high ground and that'll be nice we'll just shoot at this thing that is just such a waste i don't want to run into that thing here that is just this thing's going to die right now shoulder in his shoulder Oh, I can't step out. Okay, that's okay. That's good to know. So, you guys are noticing the spots to either side of Takeshi are occupied by other units. He has to step around full cover to shoot. He cannot step, so he cannot shoot. That is important to know. I'm glad I learned that lesson the easy way. All right, the Sentinel dead. No problem whatsoever. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little bit loud there. Uh, wow, okay. Game didn't like that much. Alright, well, whatever. It was a good first turn. We dealt with that annoyance. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah.
right, well, nothing happened there. That. Let's carry all this. Okay, gave me the free goat there. That's great. Yeah, we'll just grab this. Everyone get their willpower back from their daddies. Do we need any jumps? Yeah, he doesn't see anything, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe that's fine. around. They're behind something, but I guess uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna take it on faith. Let's show them what we can do. I can't run as far, but that's okay. And I boosted his speed. He should be able to run far. Should be able to run this way. Certainly. Those guys were not oh well. Losing your cover is not a terrible idea. There we go. Oh, yeah, siphon. Yeah, they steal hit points, as we noticed before when they jumped on me. They attacked, so I'm just going to sit there. Maybe not. You can't see him at all. That's terrible. Ready, enemy. Well, On the move. At least we have some high ground. Guess I'll need to bring Irina out of there. Finger on the trigger. Boom. Okay, that makes this a little bit better. Yeah, I don't want to stand right here because there's a lamppost in the way. Over here's a little bit better. Take care of this stupid thing too. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Stick her in there. There we go. Oh please don't even start guys. Don't be Right out here. I wish I could get up top. There's a ladder here. There is not. Okay. Now I'm going to dash. Get up to this tree to get some cover. Get back in there so I feel okay about Omar. Boom. Jumping to this crate, getting his willpower immediately back, so that's basically a free jump. Oh, that's right. Jackpot! This. Okay. Assault train should be return to fire. Sonia Sophia's got the idea. Carry weights so will run her up eventually. Or I'll just jump on our back. Returns should probably not be that big of a deal. He's just going to hide and cover. That's fine. Another Triton Strangler. Boom. Okay. Take out his arm. I got a pretty good shot here. <laughs> you missed. There 
we go. Getting a little bit closer. This is when this one is. So. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Right in. Head. Boom. Shock damage does not deal physical damage because dark is evade. Shock damage must be greater than Well, I think that caused physical damage. I'm just going to take a wild guess on that. Over here. I like this free aim. I just like to park one of the shots here. Boom. Hoping he doesn't jump up. Start siphoning. Because, you know, just stealing hit points that I've rightfully killed is annoying. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, she could do other such things. I might. Yeah, I'll run right here. Use the position to do stuff on the turn. See what this other trait does. If he jumps up, I mean. I'm still learning about how high these guys can jump. It looks like he's going to try it. Yo, there's a ladder there. Okay. okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hiding, I guess. Well, that's not going to save him because I'm going to jump down and shoot him. like, uh, you're not really aiming at anything. You see there's a little crosshair. It's like, I'm aiming right at this thing. I'm going to hit it every single shot. Huh. Okay. Well, that didn't kill it, but... Can't go up here to now. Can't jump down here. Yes. I can. Okay, this is... I like that you can... The snipers are very similar to the heavies in that regard. Boom, headshot. That'll destroy. Do, 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 do. Alright. Omar, 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 Omar. Okay, he's going to be up here, I guess. And you can look down on everybody. Can't go wrong. Uh, I should probably dump his stuff on Jacob. There. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, another Arthron. Okay, well, we can run to that way, I guess. Just shoot him. Ah! Yeah. Gonna run these ladies back up here. from the roofs. Let's show them what we can do. Here comes the feast. Here comes the feast. Oh yeah. Moving now. Can I take over watches here? I got this covered. Yeah, don't worry about the other the other one. He doesn't come close enough. Here. If 
he jumps up top on Omaru, Omaru will just shoot him in the face. We'll see. Like I said, I'm still learning about how high they can jump. Oh, you're going to do that, huh? He's, he's clever. You're like, nah, I'm not going to walk through there, thanks. Oh, come, you guys. Oh, come on. You make my life so happy. I had one time, <laughs> it wasn't on camera, I had the two guys bunched up in line. They were like right next to each other. Shot them with Omar, stunned both of them, grenaded them, and then just put them to death. It's like they didn't know what hit them. Use grenade. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. So they're gonna bleed to death. So I'm not gonna worry about them shooting them. Shuffle, do shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Do cub. Let's just find out if you can jump over. rubble here. So I have not answered that question satisfactorily. I started. Uh, the answer would be no. You cannot jump over. You would... Like, that should be... These guys should be able to just pop up on here. Ah, that's... That's disappointing and irritating all at once. I mean, well, Mark could just jump over that. Cases, like I said, they're going to bleed to death, most likely. Their arms are, are kind of wrecked. I mean, if they come and whack me, well, I'll know that their arms aren't wrecked, and lesson learned. But that grenade was uh, excellent. Okay. Probably taking a couple of bleed to death. I don't care. As long as they don't get hit by one. Like, they might be fleeing, which is fine. Yep, they're fleeing. Fleeing enemies. Enemies too injured to fight will flee the battlefield. Oh, that's sensible. Okay. It's like, wow. Uh, that's good that you're smart enough to know that you're going to bleed to death. So you're leaving. It's like, nope. That's not exactly uh, that smart. But... Wow, lots of stuff there, yeah. Oh. Another Arthron, oh my. Still good, does not have enough will points to do anything. Okay. Catch you, I'm gonna throw this grenade. Fuck it over the wall! Whoa, you didn't like that, did you? Go over up here. I'll stay behind. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the shots. There we go. All right, that's fine. Tagged him. He's probably gonna bleed to death right now. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, lucky. And oh, he's panicking. When a character's will points drop to zero, they become panicked. They will automatically move to find cover and avoid being shot. So he is not even a consideration. Okay, get them in here. Better. Good. And this is where you can burn through your willpower doing dashes. Cover will power will points are critically low. You can recover half your maximum amount of cover. Yeah, so you take a turn, get half your points back. Give everything to Omar so you can get the heck out of here. Jacob can pick up what is left. Actually, I'm not going to give everything to Omar. I'm going to let Geshi. Oh, you can now run around this way. Well, maybe we can get our way through with explosives with low, an obstacle like that. Um, oh, that's interesting. I just realized you can click on the click on the center mouse button and it'll go zoom out a couple levels. That's cool. All right, that's useful. Uh, 
Uh, oh, Takeshi's still loaded up. Hmm. We'll give everything to Takeshi then. I'm gonna come back for this. Jump over here, grab this. I come back for that other stuff. Okay. Keshi and Sophia. Very good. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. Lily. I need to run her over there and start picking stuff up. My goodness. Oh, wow. Burn that mag. Get it out of her inventory so she can carry more. Alright, we are gonna be just fine. That thing just burned, bled to death. Burned to death. Yeah, I'm sure it did that. Oh, there's someone else over there. Uh, let's go this way. Bulldog will go for the else thing. Jericho, Uda, Uda, Arthur, and Bozine, okay. All right, I'm going to get Omar out of here. Because he's heavily laden. Now, okay, you're screwed. Takeshi cannot carry anything whatsoever. Sophia. There's no Phoenix is all these people. So we got uh, Firebird, Liara. Basically capable of carrying anything else, technically, yes. Or I'll just bring her to clean up whatever stuff needs to be done. Glad I killed that minefragger. That would have messed up my plans. But good. Don't play with the You are. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're leaving. We are running. We are leaving. Loaded up. Get her to a safe spot where she can just bug out. I don't think anyone took any wounds. Take any damage having wounds. Omar, I'm just gonna kinda. There we go. Jump into your willpower zone. That's great. There we go. Everyone gets little points back. That's simply happen yes you I don't even know I don't know what you are we're leaving and we're leaving now yep running 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 Out. That's great. Irina, you can leave before I screw up and forget you're here. She's got her stuff. She's 
Oh well. Normally I wouldn't leave them to uh, fend for themselves like that, but I was chasing after my Oops. squad. Already there. I thought it would be worthwhile just to carry on. Leave for next turn. Can't believe they don't have guns right now. Yep, Arthron. Couldn't catch up, not a big deal. Spoilers, but alright, and we are leaving. Prioritizing safety. <laughs> Sophia, she's the squad leader, but she's just like, follow me! Alright, we got a dash of the hit, that's okay. Takeshi is oddly... Oh, he's, he's super encumbered, that's why. Lamar, do-do-do! Flawless mission. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't get all the resource packs? Oh, nuts. Okay. Well, it seems that uh, 225 might experience points might be the standard for a scavenging site mission. I don't know which ones I need mist of those resource packs but okay well we still got tech got materials got food got a lot of this other stuff so that's fine oh we got oh wow we got a lot of stuff here okay oh they're making tech they don't have materials you know what before i do anything i'm gonna go over here Base. Nice training facility. Perfect timing. So my guys will start leveling up a little bit. Phoenix Archives, so we're going to pop that off. Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base and analyzing the data bank that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randolph Symes III, but he has left something potentially useful for us. Randolph Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Colony. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to help us to find it. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his note. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he'd been working frantically to understand the Pandora Box. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in a decade of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted, but perhaps if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him, and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. <laughs> all right, all right, the Phoenix Path. All critical Phoenix objectives are marked with the Phoenix Point symbol in the objectives panel. There's two symbols. Completing these objectives will bring you closer to solving the Pandora virus crisis. Taking this course is not the only path to victory. Okay. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randolph Symes III's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family used as a place of meditation and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Site added to Geoscape, the Symes retreat, we should send our operatives to in Base activation. There are a number of inactive Phoenix bases spread throughout the world. To activate them, select a base. Activate them. It costs resources and increases with each base active. There is an increasing possibility that bases will be infested after you activate them. Then you can send a squad to clear them out. Okay, so. Take a very quick look there. Okay, so there's one up here in... Looks like Southern Quebec, Northern or Northeastern Ontario. Might even be, we'll just, you know what, because I'm fun. I'm going to call this probably Phoenix, I'm going to call this Phoenix Base Ottawa. There. Oh, one in America. Okay. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Okay. Let's cool off for just a second. Oh, there's one way down here. 
Sun in Antarctica. Okay. So it's not losing here. Losing close by here. There's one here in Mexico. Sumral Memorial Base. Huh. Interesting. Team Bravo. That's not fair. Teammates are in B4. And there's one in Greenland. And a couple in Europe. Ah, there's Ethiopia. There's a China one. One somewhere in Russia here. Vietnam. There's one in Hawaii. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Okay, so backspace is the event log. I didn't know that. There's a home button that we can just skimp back to your base here. Um, I want to activate this one. But let's actually see what they have. That'll determine what we can work. Uh, I'm going to do that later. I've done a lot in this episode to this point. So, I saved the game. All right, so we're going to leave it there. We have explored all the way to the south of Argentina, except for this one base. I am going to check out all of the bases that I can see, at least in the Americas. I'm not going to worry about Europe right now because, uh, well, we're just going to stick to one continent at a time. Next time, we're going to continue exploring, continue researching, all that great stuff. I'll set a bunch up, swing around this area, maybe check out a Phoenix base, start stuffing a few soldiers into it. Uh, and we'll just see what the future brings. So, thank you for watching. I am Tora of Torach Gaming on YouTube. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, have a good day.